Now I hear so many amateurs say that they want to get open in the downswing. Now what if I told you that for 99% of amateurs out there, that is the complete wrong swing thought to have. In fact, you should be thinking about one crucial thing and that crucial thing is hip depth. If you achieve good hip depth, your rotation will happen naturally and you will start to strike the ball a lot better. So I know what you're thinking. That is a very, very bold thing to say that most amateurs should not focus about getting open in the downswing and instead they should focus on maintaining good hip depth. And the reason for that is because rotation happens as a byproduct of good movements. Now, what do I see when I hear players say, oh, I'm trying to get open? Well, the things that tend to happen in their swing is A, they cannot separate their upper body and lower body. So they turn everything together. What that looks like is they'll swing to the top and they'll just turn in this fashion, swing over the top, out to impath, probably producing a lot of pulls and a lot of slices. The second one is they might not swing over the top, but they'll kick in with their trail leg. And again, in an effort to really fire those hips. Now that's gonna take up all your space. They might cause you to swing over the top, but chances are you might drop your right shoulder. And then from there, you're gonna swing into out, get very flippy. Now, here's the thing. Both of those things are gonna cause very, very poor results. Versus when I tell golfers to maintain great hip depth, they have amazing results. Here's what I mean by hip depth. If I go to the top of the backswing and I draw a line down the back edge of the butt, if you are losing hip depth, it means that your hips are coming off that line and towards the golf ball. Ideally, I wanna see you maintain hip depth, which means in the downswing, your hips stay connected to the line or maybe slightly increase it where they go slightly behind the line in the downswing. Reason for this is if you are doing that, you are going to generate a lot of space to shallow the club and get the club on plane. Second reason is if you do that, you're naturally gonna rotate open. Watch this, if I go to the top and I just think about, right, keep my hips deep and then continue all the way through, did I turn through? Yes. Did I get good side bend? Yes. This is one of the easiest swing thoughts to have and most effective swing thoughts to have in terms of the downswing. Now, the other thing is look at every video. Not many golf coaches are talking about hip depth. They're talking about rotation. Now, if a lot of golfers are still struggling with this movement, chances are the message that we've been giving out in lessons and on um, coaching videos and stuff like that isn't the best message. So by changing it and focusing on hip depth, you're gonna see you're gonna get way better results. So it's all well and good knowing that we need to maintain good hip depth, but how can we actually do it in sort of an easy to understand form? So what I want you to do is swing to the top of your backswing and then imagine somebody's put like a, a plastic pane or a glass pane behind you right there and your trail glute, your right butt cheek, is pushing into that wall, that glass window, whatever it might be behind you. Now from there, as we start down, we want to keep that right butt cheek connected or pushing into the wall as the left butt cheek goes back to meet it. So now in this position, both of them are touching the wall. So at the top, the right glute's touching it. As we start down, we're keeping the right glute touching that wall as the left comes back to meet it. Now roughly at around left arm parallel, both the butt cheeks will be touching the wall. And what it feels like to me when I'm doing that is I am keeping the right hip back and I am pushing that left glute straight back. You can see I've crunched down. This is why a lot of players lose a little bit of height and transition. And from here, look how much space I've created for that club to shallow into. Now from here, the left glute is gonna to continue to push back into the wall as the right one now starts to come forwards there is your rotation. So really what I've done there is I focused on keeping that right butt cheek deep until the left one's touching the wall. So they're both in the same position right there. Then after that, I've continued to push that left one back as the right one comes through. And that is what is generating that rotation. So that's what I mean by, yes, we are turning. It's a very valid thing to happen, but we turn by not actually thinking about turning. We turn by thinking about keeping that hip depth. So it will very much feel like as you go to the top, you are trying to push both of your butt cheeks back behind you. Very similar thing, if you're a big gym goer, if you're doing like an RDL, you're gonna hip hinge this way. You're gonna push your hips back. Very, very similar motion. So imagine your right butt cheeks touching the wall, keep it touching the wall as the left one goes back to meet it. Now the left one's touching it. Now the right can come off as the left continues to push back. Now we've got to give you a drill so that we can feel this motion correctly. And that's gonna put us in the best position to where we can A, shallow the club and B, rotate through the shop without even thinking. So the drill that I want you to do is to grab some sort of chair or object or anything like this. I tell you what's even better than one of these steel chairs is one of those pop-up camping chairs. They're fantastic because you can push them back and they're a lot lighter. These sometimes get a little bit stuck in the ground, but you need something that'll roughly come up to your glutes or just below it. 
Now, if I just shuffle inside here and I make a backswing, I want to be feeling like my right hip is pushing into this chair. Now, as I start down, I want to continue to push this right hip into the chair as I bring the left one back to meet it. So now both of my butt cheeks are connected to this chair. And then as I swing through, I then keep that left butt cheek connected right there as the right one comes off. So the main essence is I'm trying to push this over. So as I'm doing this movement, if I sort of set up here, I've got the right butt cheek pushing in, it keeps pushing in, my left one's now pushing in and all the way through. So you can see I can keep this off the ground the whole time. So I'm here, right one, all the way there and all the way through. What do you see with most amateurs who are struggling with hip depth or trying to rotate and ultimately get themselves in bad positions? They'll swing to the top and then they'll do that and they'll come off the chair or they'll early extend their hips forwards. So you can hit shots doing this. I'm not going to just because this one gets stuck in the ground. This is a little bit harder. But if you have something that's a little bit easier to sort of move around and push into, you really want to feel like you're pushing back into that as much as possible. However, what I would recommend is if I just move that to the side and I hit a shot here, do a lot of 50, 60% goal swings. And the main essence is set up normally. So don't cheat it and push back, but set up normally. And then as you go to the top, you want to be feeling like you're pushing the right butt cheek back and the left one back to meet it, then continue to push that left one back. So you're not thinking about getting open. That'll happen as a byproduct. You're trying to think of pushing those hips back in the downswing. That'll give you that body crunch that you see. That'll get you squatted into the ground and then you can start to rotate through. So here's what a 50% swing looks like for you. So this is the speed that I want you to train at. So I'm here, nice setup position. I'm gonna focus on keeping that good hip depth. This will create the space for the club to shallow. So to the top. So once you've done that at 50% speed, ramp it up. I'm gonna do a full motion speed here and my swing thought is going to be, as I start down, I'm gonna try and push my hips back and keep them deep, keep them back. Just think about that as your swing thought. You're gonna see some great results as we do this. So now if I do it at full speed, keep that good hip depth all the way. So to the top and all the way through and you can see awesome strike. I rotated massively, wasn't thinking about rotation. It happened because I maintained awesome hip depth. So there you have it. We need to change the narrative. We need to stop focusing on getting open. In fact, I would say for a lot of golfers, that's hurting them with their game. If we can just create that good hip depth, it creates the space for the club to shallow. You're going to see some way better results from that and you will naturally start to rotate anyway. Now, if you need more help with this on a one-to-one -one basis, I offer online coaching on the Skillist platform. You can have a lesson with myself no matter where you are in the world. Link is down in the description. So click it, check it out. You can book a free consultation call with me so we can have a chat. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give the video a like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. And also, if you have enjoyed it, click that uh, bell button so then you get notified every time I post the video. I go through concepts like this all the time. I hope to see you back here soon.